Okay, let's talk about the directional terms superior and inferior and answer the questions, what are the definitions for superior and inferior and what ways are they used in anatomy? Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Morton and I'm the noted anatomist. The word superior means towards the top and the word inferior means towards the bottom. So let's go through some examples of these two terms. The mouth is blank to the nose. Well, the mouth is below it, so we use the word the mouth is inferior to the nose. How about the skull is blank to the neck? Well, we say the skull is superior to the neck because it's above it. Or we can say the neck is blank to the skull. We say, well, the neck is inferior to the skull. Now, when we take a look at the skull and vertebral column and the brain and spinal cord specifically, we could use the word superior, which means towards the top, or towards the head, which is what cranial means, like your cranium. Or we can say inferior, which means towards the bottom, or caudal, which means towards the tail. So with the skull and vertebral column, brain and spinal cord, cranial and superior can be used together, or inferior and caudal can be used together. Here are the extraocular muscles of the eye on the right side. This muscle is called the inferior rectus muscle, the straight muscle on the bottom of the eye. What do we call this one? Well, we call it the superior rectus muscle. How about this? Here's a posterior view of the scapula on the right side. Anatomists call this the spine because it's this bony ridge. And they're like, hey, what do we call this shallow fossa above the spine? And they said, well, why don't we call it the fossa above the spine, the supraspinous fossa. And they're like, well, what do we call this one below it? Well, we'll call it the infraspinous fossa. So the prefix supra for superior or infra for inferior. And here's a postal, uh, posterior lateral step dissection of the head that shows our dural venous sinuses. And this is called the falx cerebri. And so anatomists called this one on the bottom the inferior sagittal sinus. What do you think they called this one? Well, they call it the superior sagittal sinus because it's on top. And that, my friends, are the terms superior and inferior in a nutshell.